You're such an asshole! Banging out the questions, that's what I do. I thought I was Irish, I'm just a quarter Jew. Alright, hi Cappy, my name is Rita and I'm a black woman, we don't care. We don't care, Cappy. That, 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 get rid of that thought. Get rid of that thought, this is pissing me off. I always mention it, I was gonna talk to O'Shea Jackson about this. About how your race and gender, because leftist Democrats, but primarily through your teachers and educators, they teach you to think about yourself and that, well, I'm a black woman. Dude, you didn't do anything to earn that. You, you just have two people who happen to be black fucked each other, and you came out with the 50-50 chance that you'd have a hoo-ha down there. All right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Not in the world cappy. You are a person who graduated this past May with a degree in chemical fucking engineering. Awesome. I've been watching your videos for some time now. Awesome. I'm currently interning for the summer at an engineering company. All right, so you did graduate. All right, you're interning in a company. Since I already had already graduated, the only way I would have been eligible for this internship if I was going to attend graduate school this fall. This is my first internship, so I applied to a graduate program so I could be eligible. It was very hard to find internships and full-time jobs in my experience. With a degree in chemical engineering? Really? And not to, now we have to actually do bring in the race card because... There's, like, no limit to the number of corporations lining up to suck minority dick right now. All right? Now, I, I know you did get your degree. You, you did earn it. You're a STEM girl. I'm, I'm saluting you on that. But at the same time, let us not kid ourselves. You, you totally should play that card, man. You should totally. Uh, you can't find a job? Really? Um... The problem is I do not want to go to graduate school that I've been accepted to. Let's call it University X. It's not highly ranked, although the school would cover all my tuition. Also, it's too late to apply elsewhere for this fall of 2017. I have four options. Should I just go to University X, too, or should I take a year off while applying to a more prestigious school like uh, Georgia Tech, Purdue, or MIT? Well, what? Okay, we'll continue on. Or complete a master's program online, which I have a partial scholarship. Ah, IT, you kind of got to be there. Uh, or continue to apply for full-time job opportunities and skip graduate school altogether. That's your best option right there. Look, okay, I know... Look, if you're listening to me, you, you kind of got a real good pulse on the real world. We don't, we don't, you know, beat around the bush here. Uh, still, college, K-12, through it is both, it's an artificial environment. It is an artificial environment, and... As you may be aware, they have led young people to believe that the real world is just easy. You just go to college and oh my goodness, things happen. You get a degree and here's a hundred thousand dollar a year job. Um that's not how it works in the real world. You gotta hustle, you gotta work way more. And I know you think, well, I worked really hard in college, and you did. That's a chemical engineering degree is, is no bullshit. You got to try even harder than you thought before. That's what the real world is. The real world is way harder than what college or K through 12 ever indicated or suggested it would be. So what I would do, and here's, here's the thing with an <clears throat> engineering degree. There's no real reason. Look, it, it's kind of a trade degree you got, a, a high-end one, no doubt. But you either can find a job in chemical engineering with a chemical engineering degree or you can't. Getting a master's or a doctorate, the only reason you would do that is to go on and teach or become part of academia. So it, it's like a really crappy plan B. Like, I got literally nothing else to do but go to grad school at the shitty university you're not excited about either, but I guess they'll pay. So the only upside of that, aside from the fact you're pissing away two more years of your life, is that you could go teach with a master's. Which is not the worst thing. You get a master's, all right, now you can teach. So you can make your 15 or $18 an hour as an adjunct at some shitty, you know, non-certified university or maybe even a real one. Uh, but is that worth two years of your life? What I think you need to do is you keep, because you can always go back. Yeah, I ask, can you go back? Yeah, I can go back. All right, cool. Um, I would just do your hustle, man. I would apply, I mean, are you applying out of state. I know a lot of people think that New York or Connecticut or wherever the fuck it is you guys are over on the East Coast, like, this is my little world. You need to get the fuck out. Have you tried Denver? Have you tried Vegas? Uh, chemical engineer, I'm trying to think what else would be out there. Where where would you go? 
government. Just think outside the box. Start applying. If you're, as long as you're willing to move someplace, international even, um, because that's a damn good degree. That's a damn good degree. Uh, and, and it's good to see girls doing that. I, I like that. Um, it, and you should just be able to, and you know, if you got to go to get a master's degree, eh, do you go to, don't go online, just don't go online. Georgia Tech, Purdue, eh, let's leave grad school till later. Like, really try, you know, bust your ass off, try your options, try and find a degree, I'm sorry, uh, find a job as a chemical engineer. Um, and then, then, if you can't find anything, all right. What's the point of going to Georgia Tech or Purdue or MIT? Well, MIT, that would be actually a bit prestigious. That would open some doors. Georgia Tech, eh. Isn't that the bumblebee? Um, it, it, but then you start being going down the path of, I want to become an academic. I want to become a professor, not an engineer. I think you went into chemical engineering because you want to be an engineer. So I would double down and try again. As always, I recommend the military. I recommend the, uh, the military because um, you could go in as an officer and you being chemical engineering major, maybe not the worst thing. Yet. Maybe I look at, you know, part-time, you know, reserves that were uh, the National Guard. But yeah, uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to University X just for the sake of going to college. That if, if you're not finding a job now with a degree in chemical engineering, um, I don't see a reason to double down on it. I, I, you should find a job with chemical engineering. It's a very sought after degree. But I think you just got to maybe change your strategies and your tactics with your interviewing. So, All right. Hope that helped out. You guys got a question? Go contact Uncle Cappy, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.